What's up guys, welcome back to Costco Sports. Uh, so recently I had a birthday, so for this 31 thing, years old, bro, 31, 31 years old, you're an old man now. So for this little video, joining me as always, Bjorn, Bjorn, my brother, how are you doing? I'm doing great, thanks guys, always doing good, good back with another action-packed video for you guys. Exactly, so for this one, we're doing a little personal favorite 15. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we're going to have to do it <laughs> Dean versus Bjorn because uh, we can't have the same personal favorite. We might have one or two positions, but I, yeah, we'll uh, probably have a couple of the of a similar ones, especially growing up together and stuff. I think yeah. we've just been discussing right before about a good part of like fifteen years now, so I think we're gonna have a few yeah. of the same same players in this side. Yeah, so I'd like to put it into context. We just like pick players in every position who you just your favorites bro i think over the years everyone has their favorite players or uh, different periods of their lives and that type but of we thing. pretty much that's like exactly what you just mentioned we pretty much based this off like players that we watched so it's like players yeah. that we enjoyed watching growing up it's not necessarily people that we believe is like necessarily the best per position or whatever that is it's just players we watched and we really enjoyed growing up yeah but i think that's that's the beauty of a thing like this bro you you with professional rugby players you have this like private uh, relationship with them that like it's not uh, yeah. talking or anything, but you just you just have that interest. But let's get stuck in, bro. Front rows, bro. Let's you can it. give me yours, and then I'll give you mine. But we we'll, at the end, the viewers can decide who would, if they had to have this game in the in the multiverse, who would win this game. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's let's get straight into it, bro. So I went to two yeah. South Africans in the front row and one All Blacks. I went with uh, Osterant as my number one. I think growing up, yeah. he was always just like that man mountain type of player, the one that's like the inspiration. Also the first, like I said, we didn't necessarily base this on who was the best or who had the best yeah. accolades, the best, but, but I think picking up the first player to ever pick up two World Cup wins, also like in almost in two completely different generations, also was just one of my favorite players growing up. Malcolm Marks, also in the hooker position, yeah. obviously we are, we, we all similar ages to Malcolm, but I think just the way he played and, and everything that he offered, the one, um, the, what was his name? Skulk. Who was Skulk, the hooker that played in the last World Cup? And why am I thinking about this? Bro, Brits, Skulk Brits, yes. Skulk Brits was another one that was on my mind. So I just went to been Blake there, guys. But Skulk yeah. Brits was another one. I mean, he was such an exciting player. But I, I actually pipped it to Malcolm. I think Malcolm's physicality and just the way he played, it was just so exciting to watch, especially during that good run that the Lions had, those two, three, four years. Yeah. And then number three, I went with Owen Franks. I was actually a big, big fan of Owen Franks growing up. Franks, yeah. I, I always yeah. just thought he was like one of those all black players that was just such a machine. Um, yeah. Before we go on, one guy that I that I also a little bit forgot about, but now I'm thinking about is Kevin Mialamu in the hooker position. He yeah, was another big. Yeah. I was a big Kevin Mialamu fan growing yeah. up. But yeah, I think Malcolm Mark still pips it for me. Who do you have in the the front row? Right? At number one, I went with Namia Tielata. Do you remember him, bro? That all black beast, bro. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I do. bro. That guy, when he used to do the hot guys, he's like, yes, the guy's an animal, bro. Number yeah. two, number two, I went to Skull Brits, bro. I remember when yeah, we used to go to Ellis Park when we were young, bro. Then th th when he was just coming up, bro, he was so fast and he was like like a, like a winger playing hooker, bro. It was so exciting. He was the watch. original runner eh, of the game. Yeah, and three, I went to Census Johnson from Samoa, bro. I, re I didn't get to watch a lot of him, but I remember when I was watching the hair and all that. So, same with like Tialata, just like a beast, bro. I just enjoy like watching these freaks, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's mine, bro. At the lock. Okay, so, in the lock positions, I actually went with Ewan. Yeah. Um, I know he's also another one that's actually like a very similar age to us, but I think the way he offered and just the way he plays, he's such a physical beast. Yeah. We haven't really seen many locks. I mean, the last one, I know Bucky's was another one actually on my mind. Yeah. Bucky's was a, another one that I was thinking about, but I actually went with Ewan. I just think Ewan's an all around better player and just he's such an animal, especially at the yeah. moment. Best player, best player in the world rugby for me at the moment, guys. And then I went with Victor Matfield. Victor Matfield was a player yeah. I always enjoyed watching. I think it's just like growing up in that era where he was like the best lock. Like it was yeah. almost like he was the best lock for about 10 years and it was just nice to always have like a dominant player in the SA team yeah. as an SA fan. So I went with Eben Itzabeth and Victor Matfield. Who did you go for? I went with Eben as well, bro. I think Eben, when we were yeah. coming up, he was also coming up like when we were growing yeah. up. And that time like we were like started generation. jumping hard and like you always think, oh, God, I want like arms like Eben, bro. That guy's yeah. such a beast. And he bro. was just a monster. He was a monster. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. And number five, and I went five? to Ali, Ali Williams, bro. I, I remember when I was Ali younger, Williams, the mullet man, the did, original mullet man. Exactly. I used to love like the way he used to do the haka and that. But like when you watch it back now, it's like it's like kind of cringe, bro. Like you think of like how you used yeah. to carry on. It's like cringe, bro. <laughs> but when I was younger, bro, I loved like it. Like those bro. eyes, bro. Remember his eyes? His eyes. And his tongue, like bro. Massive. His tongue, man. Yeah. <laughs> But, but as a, as a lighty growing up, you love that type of yeah, shit. Bro. You yeah. love that. And now you look back and like that's so cringy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also different generations, you know. Yeah. Like when you grow up, like all those all blacks guys. I know the mullets kind of coming back, but we yeah. used to love the guys with the mullets. I mean, the Quade Coopers <laughs> of the world and stuff. Yeah. I'm like Quade Cooper might be making another appearance on this list. Who knows? Hey, yo, who's, who's your sports, who's, who's your who's, who's, yeah. who's sports? Who have you got there? Okay, my loose forwards. I went with um, Skulk Burger. Yeah, uh, let's go, at six is another one. I mean, he was a crazy guy. Was it against in the 2007 World? Was it against Tonga when he like eye poked people and, <laughs> and, and he was just Irish another Lions, beast? I mean, <laughs> against was the British Sa- Irish Lions. <laughs> yeah, I remember it was a red team, but, but I just yeah, remember yeah. he was another. He was a crazy guy. He always looked like a caveman. His hair was always messed up and crazy. And yeah. so Skulk Burger for me then. Richie McCaw, I don't think, yeah. even if he's not everyone's favorite, Richie McCaw was one of those players you were just in awe of. I mean, he was yeah. arguably the best rugby player of all time. So, so Richie for me at number seven. And then eight, I went with another All Blacks, Kieran Reid. Like, a lot of these guys yeah. are players that I just, I, I respected so much. And I was, like, in awe of them, the way they played. Um, I was, like, as a flyer myself, I enjoyed the, the backline players more. So, I think yeah. with my, my forward pack, it's, it's definitely more players that I had more respect for, players that I thought were, like, just exceptional in their position. So, I went with Skulk, Richie, and um, Kieran Reed. Who did you go for? Bro, I went with Jerry Collins. Mr. Jerry Kimmes. Collins. I forgot about Jerry Collins. Shit, rest in oh, peace, rest Jerry in Collins. Peace, but yeah, Jerry Collins. Collins. In his time, bro, it's just, oh, bro, he's just, just You remember Rugby 8, how good he was on the Rugby 8 game? Yeah, bro, that guy is a smash hook and just such a beast, bro. He's a love that guy. Seven, I also went to Richie McCall, bro. So, favorite, uh-huh. just like that guy, like the man you want to be kind of guy, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And the captain eight, of the All Blacks, especially yeah. during that time when they were just so dominant. And he was so dominant, bro. Yeah. Eight, I went with, also like a caveman, bro, Sebastian Chabal, bro. How did I forget about Shabal? I mean, I even look yeah. a bit like Shabal now. I, mean, I should have gone with Sebastian Shabal. You know what? Actually, eight, my eight's changing, guys. I'm going with Shabal. I'm going with Shabal as well. Shabal is just Sebastian an animal. Shabal last, bro. Okay. Look like Sebastian Shabal. Fucking hell, that guy was a monster. And Dude, everyone, remember, even beast, now, like, bro. Even now he's so popular, like how he like walks around in France and like when Dude. he goes to matches he like sings music. Yeah, remember like, at the sevens when he I mean sang, he's, he's a bro. crazy guy. He's a yeah. he's a he's a lunatic. He's like a proper caveman. <laughs> That's such a good call. Shit, I can't believe I forgot about him. Well, scrap Kieran Reed for me, shit Sebastian Chabal one hundred percent. Yeah, bro, yeah. Let's move on then. The your half back pairing, who have you got there? Half back pairing, I went to the South African guy, I went to the a man that's actually still playing rugby, Faf the Clerk. Yeah. Um for me, just the, the way he is, and he's also just like he's small, but he's like a loose cannon. He's never scared to like get involved, yeah. um, like in like the scraps and stuff. Like two other options I was thinking about was actually George Gregan. I was a big, yeah. big, 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 big fan of George Gregan, and then Will Guinea. I remember when he like with the Raiders, yeah, especially like the 2010, 2013 era, like how he used to play and like break off the, the scrum and score some brilliant, brilliant tries. But for me, I just yeah, fuck the clerk. I think he's such a like it's a speedo man and. He's like yeah. also a bit of like a loose cannon, and then with ten, you could only go with Quade Cooper. Quaid I mean, Quade Cooper was like was honestly probably the one of the coolest rugby players <laughs> growing up. <laughs> he's so still the coolest. The right? mullet, that's like the original cheaper. mullet thing, in a, does yeah. boxing. He's another one that's just also a bit of a loose cannon. So I went with Faf and Quade. Who did you go for? I went with Quade as well, bro. Always Quade, and I'm surprised with number nine that you went with Faf, bro. Considering we growing up used to love Francois Hukard so much, bro. Oh, I went to Francois Ochoa. Shit, Ocar. I forgot yeah. about Francois Ochoa. I can't believe I've actually forgot about a few of these players. No, actually, scrap that again, guys. <laughs> Dean's actually getting me a lot of this. Scrap, yeah, scrap him. I'm going to go with another mullet man. The coolest, probably probably the coolest, definitely the coolest Africa rugby player of, of all time. Yeah, Francois yeah, Ochoa yeah, and Quade Cooper for sure. Yeah, Francois Ochoa, Quade Cooper, 100%. Dude, how cool was it when they played together now at this... Um when Barbarians last year, bro. Mm. It's insane, bro. This is like... Yeah, no, <laughs> bro, I know. I, I can't believe I forgot... 1,000, bro. I can't believe I forgot about so many players. Honestly, I, there's so, the problem is also throughout like the last 20, 20 odd years, there's been so many players. Yeah, and I just, yeah, yeah. I fucking forgot about so many. Exactly, bro. Exactly. For mm. the, let's go with the centers first. Who have you got in the centers? Okay, the centers, I went to two All Blacks players. Yeah. 
I went to Luke McAllister. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Luke McAllister was honestly like the G growing yeah. up. Like, yeah. I used to love Luke McAllister. I thought he was the coolest guy ever. Like, he always had like the, the coolest hairstyles, the, the yeah. like the hardest girlfriends, and and all of that. And then at thirteen, I went with Ma and Anu. Actually, we met Ma and Anu. Do you remember yeah. back in our school yeah. days? We all actually those met him. Against guys, bro. And, yeah, and, and, yeah, and meeting him, I thought he was such a such a. He was like, first of all, just a, such a cool guy in general. Yeah, and yeah, then he yeah. had like the dreads, and and he was like another monster type of player. Like he would just bash people, and yeah. just do, such an exciting, exhilarating type of player. Do you remember, do you remember what player. Manu said to us like like that time when we uh-huh. asked for his signature, and he was like, uh, you, you, you got any hot teachers up there?" <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I do oh, remember now. I do such remember a now. Legend, bro. I was like, yo, this guy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, it was so Fucking cool. Legend, you remember bro. like the the Blues Oaks came the one year. Yeah, bro. Um, Samoa. The Highlanders guys were there. Samoa was there. It was actually yeah. very very cool. Like the quite a few of the players we met growing up. Who did you go for in the center position? I'm sure Luke McAllister. Yeah, one hundred percent. We were both McAllister, in awe of him. Uh, Luke McAllister, twelve, and my all time favorite. Really I know. Player, I know who this one is. Sunny Bill Williams, brother. Sonny Bill Williams. Dean was in love with Sonny Bill Williams. <laughs> dude, I mean, it might have been his boyfriend at one stage, for all we know. <laughs> Bruh, the legend. Is the, if you want to, like, have an example of how to live your life as a man, just follow Sonny Bill Williams. Yeah. This yeah, is, no, it's good. And and especially how he's been lately as well. Yeah, you know, like, he's another yeah. one that went into the boxing thing, and you can see he's a very family-orientated man. And, yeah, yeah. And just how he's, like, kind of, like, not changed his life, but, like, how you, you say, he's such a respectful guy and, like, Remember after the 2015 World Cup when he gave his medal away and yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. There's there's a lot to admire of, uh, regarding Sonny Bill Williams. Like that player that no one can hate, bro. He's like a runaway yeah. style guy, bro. Yeah, he's definitely one of those guys for sure. And your wingers, bro. Who did you go on the wings? Okay, so I went with a banner. Obviously, as yeah. being a South African yeah, boy Abana's growing up, Brian Abana has, has just been like he's like a hero to almost all of us. The way he played and. Just the way he dominated the game and such an exciting player. I mean, breaking onto the scene with that was it Scotland or England? I'm not sure he was, but when he scored that interception try as like a 19, 20 year old, that's yeah. like the, the stuff of the stuff of dreams right there. And then at the other side, I went with the man, the myth, the legend, the bomb, Alessana Turialangi, bro. Dude, I remember watching. Bro. We used to watch YouTube videos of that guy for hours, for Dude. hours, and yeah, I just exactly. like and another guy that would just smash people. And like growing up, that was like one of my favorite things was just seeing guys getting bounced and and those hard eating style of rugby players. So who did you go for, bro? I went to to a Lengi as well. Like yeah. you said, bro, it's just a, a freak. Remember that that video? I think it was like a Roy, Roy Jones Junior song with, and he was just smashing yes. guys, bro. And the other wing, bro, it, it, I was going to go with Jono Lomu because, like, mm-hmm. starting out, right, be like, that was the guy, you know what I mean? Like, that was the we, guy, I mean, the first pro ever. Exactly, but we are still too young, like, I didn't really understand what it's just, like, you just see this freak guy and you just know he's the best, so it was kind of like, with not that like little he's your head, favorite. That little in front of his head and... Yeah, but then the other one is Rene Ranger, bro. Rene Ranger, mm. for me in that time, bro, was my favorite, bro. He's just always, like... Just so chilled, laid back, Electric. but then puts it on on the field. You know, you know, you watch him; he's gonna smash somebody. Mm. Bro, Zane Kirshner probably hates that guy. I think he smashed him like <laughs> four times, bro. <laughs> he just looks for Zane that one game. every time, bro. So yeah, my wingers: Alessandro Tulenki and Rene Ranger. Bro. The one player I almost went with though was like, I remember growing up as well was Dougie Howlett. Dougie Howlett Dougie, was yeah. also one of those guys. Yeah. He was just such a such an exciting player to watch, and you know, he had that little afro going and. It was different. Yeah. It was just different to everyone else at that during that time. Yeah, so but I, I I agree with you. I, I think to Alangi for both of us definitely in the side. You went with uh, Rennie Ranger and Rennie Ranger is even a, another another really good shot. I remember I used yeah. to love that guy. You used to love that guy. Yeah. At fifteen, who do you have there? At fifteen, I went to the guy that's like semi retired at the moment, but Israel Falau. He yeah. was another guy yeah. that just. For me, he came onto the scene and just coming from where was it AFL at the moment. Yeah. I thought he also just offered something so different. He was such a different fullback than what we've ever seen before, and I just thought he was like also like so cool. And I know he came into a lot of criticism as of late because of his views and stuff, but I don't care about his views. I mean, that's up to everyone else to judge him on on yeah. what they want to. For me, Israel Falau was just such an exciting player to watch. I mean, if you, if the cross kick came into him, you knew it was pretty much game over there. Yeah, yeah. Who did you go for in the front position? Bro, Con- Conrad Jansen's bro. You you know he's obviously like, yeah. like 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 family close, you know. So yeah. growing up, it's just 
it's just bro if, if it wasn't for him i don't think i'd be as interested in rugby bro you know what i mean yeah. so no, but it makes sense. Like, hero, if you have a family bro, member, man, dude, if you yeah. have a family member that's like around that, that's in it and stuff, it's like yeah. your hero. It becomes like your your hero in, in the, the sport. Exactly, bro. Exactly. Like I think of like my little cousin who like he doesn't see much of me, bro, but he'll watch every game. You know, like that type of yeah. thing. Yeah, it's the same. With, Does that mean it's in awe? It's, it's an exciting thing that if you have like someone that's like professional rugby player or that you yeah, can see yeah, on TV dude. that's like becomes like famous in your eyes or. Well, yeah. Whatever you want to put it, it's very exciting. So I, I kind of, I kind of expected it to be college yeah. junctures. To yeah, be honest. but I remember when we were when we were young, he used to obviously give us tickets to Ellis Park. But it always used mm. to be in the front row, and I, I used to stand there like with my flag and like scream like Uncle Connie, and like maybe mm. like every fourth game he'd manage to hear and he'll give a wave, bro. But then like what would happen? I, I'd be screaming there, and if he waved like. Like that group of people around us would all start screaming like Uncle Connie. <laughs> yeah, and I mean that lights yeah. you up as a lighty. That lights yeah. you up, bro. That yeah. like just it gives you that little extra fire. Like yeah, that's my family. Or yeah. you know what I mean. Like it makes you feel special, bro. So I yeah, get exactly. it. I get it. Exactly. But anyway, guys, that was our personal favorite XPs. A little bit of mm. a, a nostalgic a trip down memory lane. Uh, let us know if you enjoyed it. Leave a like. Please subscribe. Comment your favorite all time favorite XPs. I'm sure there's some yeah, players that we're does. forgetting about, and you know, this might uh, give you some nice memories to comment your favorite all time. But as always, guys, it's been your resident couch coach sports, coach, coach, sport, coaches. Couch, coach, yeah, guys, coach sports. <laughs> Thanks because for Someone's been a bit tired, guys. <laughs> Thanks for joining <laughs> us, guys, and until next time, cheers. Cheers, everybody.